Japan. Yep. Uh, I'm very excited to be here. Uh, I think Topshop um, really sums up a quintessentially British attitude and reflects the times really well. It's very modern, it's always fun and playful and young. And it's, it's one of the biggest shows on the calendar. So, you know, in terms of spotting other people, it's always quite fun just as a spectacle as well. I just think they take a lot of risks at Topshop and they're always really good at um, making sure they're really on point and really on trend. So everything's a very fast turnaround. They're also keen to incorporate new designers. The new gen aspect is a really fantastic thing for just British fashion in general. Uh, and it gives young designers an opportunity to kind of start somewhere and expose themselves to, you know, the masses, basically. I love Topshop because obviously it's so wearable, but it always has, you know, all the trends and all the new stuff and everything that you want to wear. Really cool, quirky stuff, also classic, classy pieces. It sort of has everything. And that's why I think girls can always rely on Topshop. The show. It was an amazing show. I mean, Topshop are always really on it when it comes to being on, you know, like up to date with everything. So. Yeah, the Topshop show is always so fun. One of the shows I really look forward to, mainly because I actually wear the clothes so much. So I'm shopping as it goes down the runway. I mean, I think that this is one of those brands that really does have social media dialed in. And um, I think it makes a huge impact. They've just been really great with mixing like high fashion and low fashion, and that's sort of my style, sort of like low brow but high brow at times. So I love that it's really like on the go and fits my like spirit. I love the fact that Top Shop identifies with every person in the world. It's accessible and it's extraordinarily stylish in its own right. There's a spirit to Top Shop that I think embodies what London is all about and what makes London cool. And how proud are we that Topshop has now travelled the world and is a global force. You know, it is a place that your daughter can shop in. And I can still shop there. <laughs> yeah, Just? you still steal no, my Topshop No, I can, I can. I still, I still steal your stuff. <laughs> you do. Yeah. It is. I'm doing the Oscars coverage, actually, at Sky. Oh. Who are you rooting for? Um, I actually... Which probably isn't great, but I haven't seen all of the uh, films. But I saw Birdman, I thought that was amazing. I thought Emma Stone was fantastic in that, so I'd like to see her win. She always dresses really well as well, so yeah. Or any amazing British talent. I know Eddie Redmayne is up for a couple, I think. Um, so it'd be amazing if he won, doing for the Brits. Well, of course, Rosamund from Gone Girl. Um, you know, I also love Birdman. I'm hoping that they get some wins. So, yeah. We've got Rosamund Pike up there, haven't we? And uh, Eddie Redmayne, I uh, love Theory of Everything. Ben Cumberbatch, I really enjoyed all the films actually this year. I thought they were fabulous. And I think that uh, it's lovely to see a British contingent doing so well at the Oscars. If Rosamund Pike does not win that Oscar, I'm gonna cry and get down on my hands and knees myself and have a right old tantrum. Because if ever there was an actor that deserved prestigious award whether she cares or not it's her she was outstanding in that and I just think power to the people power to the women and they should come together and give her the award she deserves